All right, highways were packed with people heading back home from the holiday weekend. You can see how I-40 along the Guilford and Alamance County line backed all the way up. It's pretty much bumper to bumper all day. WFMI News 2's Daniel Cruz caught up with people trudging through the traffic to make it back home. Those disappearing leftovers from the refrigerator are just one reminder that the Thanksgiving holiday weekend is coming to an end and a very busy travel weekend at that. If you've been on any of our highways throughout the triad today, you've probably noticed that unmistakable rush to get back home. And we've been in traffic all day. We have hit some pretty dense patches of traffic. And the traffic's been kind of heavy, but it got really bad once we got on to 85. From the highways to the back roads. Stop and go traffic was the norm for many heading home from the Thanksgiving holiday. Back around 40 in Raleigh, there's wrecks on both sides of the road, backed up for three or four miles. Ricky Pennington is from Lexington and spent the weekend in Myrtle Beach before visiting his grandkids this morning in Greenville. You sit in traffic and move a little bit, sit in traffic and move. Then ever since we got on 40 out here, it's been the same. If you were caught in the traffic today, you were not alone. AAA of the Carolinas estimates more than 1.4 million North Carolinians traveled by car this weekend. Experts also say pre-Thanksgiving travel is usually spread over several days. However, many make the trip home on Sunday, packing three days worth of travel volume into just one. Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we took 77 to 81. It was not this heavy. We used to, it used to be really bad, but it's not been this bad. Nationwide, Thanksgiving holiday travel was expected to be up from last year. That's according to AAA, but they also forecasted to fall short of pre-pandemic holiday travel numbers. We make this trip about once a year for Thanksgiving, and it's pretty typical to see <laughs> this every time. Even though traffic was dense, those we spoke with were thankful to spend some time with family, leaving some already looking ahead to Christmas. And resting up for the Christmas travels. <laughs> Reporting in Adelance County, Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.